Peace. This Equality Fragrance is coming to you from PG County, Maryland. Welcome to my cipher. A cipher is a person, place, a thing within my circumference to understand it. Number cipher is peace. For all those new to the channel, stopping through, been following me for a while, I humbly am grateful that you took the time out of your day to sit down here and click and watch this video. Hopefully it's something you will stay around and watch and sub. With that being said, come on in, sit down, and let's build. Back around April 11th, Big Bid Business, um, and I'll link his channel below. Y'all should know him already, the 100K man. Um, challenge all reviewers to do, I want to say, uh, a fragrance out of 10 fragrance categories, I believe. It's 10 fragrance categories and to discuss a fragrance within your collection matching that. Now, it took me a while to think about putting up together a really good list. I wanted to include some things I probably haven't discussed, some things I had discussed, some things I really, really like, some things that may be underrated. But what I noticed when I started putting my list is I had a lot of these fragrances. I mean, it is what it is. If I'm be keeping a buck with you, be honest, when I started looking at specific notes or type of fragrances, it just, some fragrances just couldn't beat out. Like many fragrances aren't going to beat out Grand Swab by MFK. It's just not going to happen. But anyway, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to add a twist to it. I am going to do a niche and um, designer fragrance in each category. This was hard, but I'm going to try to get through it. And I'm going to try to make it fast and sweet. So with that being said, let's start off the show. First category is the Oud category. I want to talk about a fragrance that really hasn't been discussed that much on YouTube from the Niche House, and that's from the House of Mansara. That is Aoud Line. What you get here is that the infamous Montal Mansara medicinal kind of Oud. You get a jammy rose and you get raspberry. Raspberry rose Oud bomb is what you get here with a dry patchouli. You get some sandalwoods, but it's, it smooths out at about the two hour, hour and a half mark and starts smoothing and finding its way. It's up in the upper tier. You do not need many sprays of this. This will cut through cold weather, cold weather only. From the designer, I'm going with Gucci Intense. Ooh, ah oh man, fingerprints. God, forgive me for it. Sin. All right, wipes on my mall. Anyway. This is a nice designer ooze, arguably one of the best designer ooze to ever come out on the market. You're going to get some incense, you're going to get woody notes, some smoky woods, incense, and you get a leather accord with a nice amber um, accord as well that makes this fragrance up. It's been compared to Black Afghano. Mm, I don't see it, but I get it. So with that, it's going to be Gucci Intense Ooze and a ooze line for the niche and designer and ooh. The next fragrance category will be the Fougere category. To be honest, Fougere isn't the kind of scent that I go after all the time, but I have a belief that every man should have a Fougere within their collection at least one. At least one. It's like every man should have a suit within his closet. It just kind of goes hand in hand with that because you can't walk around smelling like tobacco, whiskey, ooh, vanilla, ice cream, and chocolate cake all the time. Well, I mean, you can do what you want to do, but that's just my belief. So for my niche, I'm going with a Oriental Fougere, and I'm going with Amwash Jubilation 25. A Papanax Blueberry, um, some Rose, some Oud, some Woody Accords, a lot of different resins. This is an amazing scent. This is a mature scent. When I say mature, I do not mean age. I mean mature within the fragrance game. If you let me smell this four years ago, I'm going to tell you get this out my face. It's not for me. But now, this is an absolute masterpiece. I can't think of nothing on the market that smells like this. Yeah. Jubilation for my niche. For my designer, is pound for pound probably my greatest scent within my collection. For 16 stripper ones. That's Frank Olivier, Ode of Passion. Listen, this smells exactly like um, Chanel Platinum Eagle Weiss. Pound for pound, I put them side by side, testing them. I would never buy Chanel Platinum Eagle Weiss. I would buy this for 16 bucks. It is what it is. They have totally different notes. This has like pineapple synthesis, veteran pink pepper, um, trying to think, lavender in it. 
but this is an amazing scent a very clean soapy fresh scent very relaxing so frank olivier eau de passion jubilation 25 for the fougere category the next category i want to discuss is the floral category now i had to figure out which way i want to go with this because i have a lot of floral scents from rose to violet things of that nature um, but I want to discuss a fragrance that really doesn't get discussed that much, and that's from the House of Mansur, and that is Pink Prestigium. This is this is a grapefruit, rose, saffron, bergamot, black currant with some white musk. So this is a musky, um, little bit spicy, fruity rose scent that's also woody. An amazing spring and summer scent. Hot weather, this bangs and it performs amazing. I like this and I like this a lot. If you like fruity, rose kind of scents, so like, I'm not saying it smells like this, but if you like fragrances like Atomic Rose, maybe your Delinas that has a lot of fruit, some kick to it, some punch, this is a nice one to reach for, especially in the spring and summer. Hot weather, I'm pulling it out because the grapefruit is amazing and it's very juicy. My designer is probably my greatest designer rose on the market. And that's from the house of Cartier, and that is Declaration Dawn Swallow. What can I say about this? Cardamom, um, pink black pepper, you have rose, you have nutmeg, some woody notes. This is a very masculine rose. So unlike Pink Prestigium, that's a little bit fruity rose. If you like, eh, I'm a man, I don't know why I'm wearing rose. This is the probably one of the first rose fragrances I would recommend anybody who wants to get into rose. Very good scent, very classy, safe for work, safe for white t-shirt going out, hot weather, fall, spring, summer, fall. This is a stunning fragrance, amazing. My favorite designer rose on the market, period, hands down, undeniable. And that's Declaration Don Swap by Cartier for designer. And that's Pink Prestigium by Mansara for the niche. The next category is the green category. So you already know I'm about to bust down with the veteran. And from the niche, I'll be using Montif Olfactor Vectude Vert. I've discussed this fragrance at nauseum. Three different type of vetivers, wet soil, some citruses like yuzu, amazing vetiver scent. I smell this every single morning before I wake up. It is that refreshing, my second best vetiver in my collection. If you are a true vetiver lover, it's a must sample. Y'all know I don't tell you to blind buy anything, a must sample. I can't discuss this anymore. I've done a review on it, check it out. The, um, for the designer, will be Vetiver Extreme, another great Vetiver scent. If you are a Vetiver lover, I know you have this within your collection. You have uh, a couple of citruses, you have one believe you got Vetiver, you get some Tonka, you get Cedarwood, um, some licorice, I believe a licorice note is in here, and amazing Vetiver scent that is a timeless classic. So with the niche, Montifo Factor, V2 De Vert, and with the designer, Vetiver Extreme by Guerlain. The next category is the musky category. It took me a minute to think about what I was gonna choose because I don't go out and buy musky scents out of all things. That's the last thing I wanna buy and reach for. But then I remember I had this fragrance within my collection. I wanna be, I wanna say I was probably one of the first to discuss this on YouTube, and that's from the House of Mansur, and that is Wave Musk. This is dank, very musky. Teenage boy musky, crazy musky. What you get here, don't go to Fragranica. The notes are totally wrong. Don't listen to them. You get black currant, you get grapefruit, you get some herbs, you get uh, some some crystallized salt, marine accords, and um, some woody notes, some musk, and orange blossom. What does this smell like? If you smell Aqua Universalis Forte by Mason Francis Kurt John, this smells exactly like it with a twist. So they're different, but you can tell one was inspired, this was inspired by that, or I don't remember which one came out first, but this is a nice spring fall scent. It will last. If you put this on skin and you don't like it, sorry, it's gonna be on your skin for a while. Deal with it. 
It lasts, it performs, nice projection. Do not overspray this. So the only musky scent I have comes from the House of Mansara, and that's Wave Musk. Now we are going to be discussing the leather category. Now, what I went for with the niche comes from the discontinued House of Commodity, although I think they're doing a comeback, and that is Commodity Leather. I was lucky enough to pick this up at uh, Marshall's when they had the discontinued sale going on. An amazing leather fragrance. You get a nice smooth leather. You get uh, a nice cacao note. You get labdanum, which gives it that ambery feel to it with the leather. You get some woods in here. Um, I believe some juniper berry, maybe some incense, or maybe that sky ratchet here. This is an amazing leather scent. The perfumer behind this is Rodriguez Flores Root. If you're not familiar with him, he did John Valvato's line. He's known for things not lasting. I'm getting about seven and a half hours, almost eight hours on this. This smells very similar to his other creation, which is Dark Rebel Rider. Amazing scent. If you can find it for under 50, it's a good one to have. I will probably pay about 40 for it, but it's not a bad scent. And the next for designer will be the infamous Dior Home Parfum. What can we say about this? Rose, leather, sandalwood. The sandalwood is extremely creamy, which comes off vanilla. There's something in this that gives me a very nice, like, dusting of cacao somewhere in here, although it's not a listed note. This is smooth. Everybody has discussed this ad nauseum. I don't need to beat a drum on this. We all know about it. I was lucky enough to get this out the country at Duty Free uh, last year. So, an amazing scent. It performs. It projects. If you haven't put your nose on it, get your nose on it. The iris isn't overdone. It's just done enough where it's a little bit powdery. I like this. I like this a lot. It's a masterpiece. Your home parfum for the designer and commodity leather for the niche. The next category would be the oriental category. I decided to go with a popular one and that's MFK Grand Swap. An amazing amber scent. What you get here is uh, labdanum. You get uh, vanilla, benzoin, tonka, amber, which is crazy because the labdanum, benzoin, vanilla kind of somewhat make up the amber cord. So it's like saying you have amber, amber, tonka. Nevertheless, rich, warm, inviting, seductive, amber scent. A must have if you love ambers. It's not my favorite amber in my collection, but this bangs. I love this. I love this a lot. The next for the designer is stronger with you, intensity. This is um, a 2019 release from the original flanker. This is very sweet, but crowd pleasing. You have toffee, you have cinnamon, you have vanilla, you have um, tonka, I believe you have amber, you have suede, you have some juniper berry, lavender, pink pepper. This is like a gourmand, oriental gourmand with fougere tendencies is what you get here. This is a great scent. If you like Bar Byron's Parfums, The Chronic, you will like this. They're similar. If you start once the pink pepper and all that stuff die down at the top, the Fougere Tendency, there's very strong similarities within the two because I also own that fragrance as well. Great scent. So with the niche, Grand Soir, and with the designer, Stronger With You, Intensely. The next category be the tobacco category. Now, this was hard for me because I like a lot of tobacco scents, but I just had to make a hard choice. So, coming in at the niche, I'm going to discuss a house that I've discussed recently, and that's Unique A Luxuries, Kuta. If you've seen my review, I said this is the greatest boozy scent on the market, hands down, period. Well, you say, well, why is it on the tobacco list? Because the dry down dries down to a nice infused caramel vanilla cigar premium cigar dipped in whiskey. Amazing, amazing, amazing scent. I'm not going to harp on it. I did a review on it. Check it out. For the designer, is a very underrated tobacco. And pound for pound, probably might be one of the best tobacco scents out on the market, period, if you're just talking about pure tobacco scent. And that's from the House of Aramis, and that's Tobacco Reserve. What you get here is Tobacco, a nice chocolatey kind of tonka. You get oak moss, you get clary sage, you get nutmeg. Amazing.
Zing tobacco scent if you like true tobacco scents. Clutch. So designer, Aramis Tobacco Reserve. And for niche, um, Unique A Luxury, Kuta. The next category is going to be the Woody category. <clears throat> I started going through my collection. I was like, mm -hmm, I don't really have that much Woody scents, but I had a few I want to highlight here. So the first one I would say in the niche would, um, this is a clone from the House of Alexandria, and that's Arabian Force. This is a clone of Cree Spice and Wood from that less exclusive line. This is a amazing clone. You get a lot of cedar wood, birch, some apple, some um, lemon, some bergamot, some oak moss. A very nice daytime woody scent, great for the spring, summer, fall. And for the designers, you're gonna get Joe Malone's English Oak and Hazelnut and Joe Malone's English Oak and Red Caron. What can I say about these scents? Um, performance wise, you only will get about four and a half, maybe five hours with these. If you look around, you can find these two, well, when the world opened back up at Marshall's for about 60 bucks, give or take, 60 stripper ones is what you can find this for. A very nice woody scent. English Oak and Red Current is a rosy woody scent with the Red Courant giving it like a little fruity nuance. English Oak and Hazelnut is what it sounds like. It is all straight wood with Nutty Accord with the Hazelnut. Pause, man, super pause. Anyway, great scents, great woody scents. Um, again, performance is subpar, but for the daytime, you're going somewhere for about four or five hours, these, you can't overspray this, throw this on. And this is a good clone. So with that being said, those are my woody, um, that's my woody category. Joe Malone's English Oak and Hazelnut and Joe Malone's uh, English Oak and Red Courant and Alexandria Fragrances Arabian Force. The last category <sighs> comes from my favorite category and that is the gourmand category. This was hard for me because I have hella gourmands within my collection, but I wanted to discuss a house that I've had for a while that I haven't really talked about as of yet. And this is from the House of Oud on the Nice side. And this is Date's Delight. Amazing scent. What do you get with this? You get a, a nice amber cord with labdanum, benzoin, uh, vanilla. You're going to get a sugar cord. You're going to get honey. You're going to get coriander. You're going to get caramel, cinnamon, peony, and dates. People smell this and say they don't get dates. I would say because they don't eat enough dates. There are two types of dates. Dates you get at the grocery store, those are trash. Then there's dates if you go to like a local market where there's a large Muslim population or you go to an international market where you get those kind of dates that stick together, that's real syrupy. That's what this smells like. This smells like a nice caramelized syrupy date drizzled in honey topped with cinnamon. Very, very nice fragrance. You could put this into the category where I've seen people put it in with Ombre Nargule and Wojan and all them, but the dates make this a totally different scent to me. For the designer side is my favorite flanker from the line, and that is Pure Tonka. Now this isn't my most wearable one, but to me it's my favorite. You're gonna get uh, coffee, Tonka, cacao, um, licorice, the patchouli, this, and I believe lavender, this is amazing to me. I love it. I get like this caramelic cookie, cinnamon cookie almost. I like this. I like this a lot. This is my favorite from the line. My favorite. So for the designer, you got Pure Tonka from Amen. And from the niche, you have from the House of Ooh, Dates Delight. Okay, that was my completion of the tag video by Big Big Business. It took me a while to put some stuff in there because I could have put the same old, same old I talked about, but I try to change it up a little bit. Anyway, I don't want to draw it out with a long ending. Y'all already know where what you like, when you like, forget the hype. Don't blind buy nothing here. Trust me, sample everything. I am not a fragrance reviewer. I am a guy who likes talking about fragrances. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you the way I greeted you, and that's in the universal language of peace.